G'day everybody. Today I have got the QNAP QM2 Quad M2 expansion card. And so this will let you connect uh, up to four M2 2280 SSDs in your compatible QNAP NAS. So that's pretty cool because these are some fast SSD drives and this being a PCI Express connected card will allow you to really take advantage of that speed. So today I'm going to take you through the unboxing and let's have a look at what's actually in this box. So just to confirm, the part number here is the QM24P384. We'll pull that open and there's a little bit more in the box than you might expect. So the main thing is our expansion card itself and that is decent size. We've got a pretty big heat sink and fan on here to keep those SSDs nice and cool. And if you look closely at it, uh, you might be able to pick out at each end here. We've got our mounts to screw in our M2 drives. So this particular uh, expansion card comes pre-fitted with the low profile bracket on the back. As you probably saw in that box though, we also have here a full profile uh, backing plate so depending on the NAS unit you can use that to replace the one that comes fitted to it and then we do also have a low profile flat bracket here so same size as the one that's mounted to it so it's flat rather than having that 90 degree turn in the bracket and so that's needed for some models of NAS. Now underneath this uh, you might have just seen there we also have our other parts. Inside this bag we have a bunch of thermal pads. So first up those big things, these strips here that are blue, these are our thermal pads. So this is really important for ensuring connectivity to your uh, heatsink, your SSD cards. So they'll go um, on the drives which will then go in here. We also have a series of rubber pads. So these would go strategically placed underneath the SSD drives um, to help support. Last thing in here is a bunch of screws. These screws are our SSD screws. So they will go in these slots uh, with the SSDs. So they'll help screw it in to mount it. Now the very last thing that was in the box is actually our installation guide. So this is kind of important, especially if you haven't used one of these before. In here, you'll find a bunch of really great instructions on what you actually need to do to basically prepare your NAS, depending on what kind of bracket it has, how to change the bracket on the SSD, what you need to do to actually add or mount your M2 SSD drive onto the board and of course then how to install it in your NAS again depending on what kind of bracketing it has. Now let's take this out and actually have a closer look at it. So here we have our QM2 card. Again just a close up there you can see the expansion uh, screw holes for adding the SSD drives. We've got these ones here that will pop off uh, to actually allow us to mount our SSD so they'll unscrew and these will that will release the heatsink here so we can actually pull all of that off. Uh, that's the underside of it. And that's it. Now at least where you can grab one of these cards from are down in the description of our affiliate links. So if you choose to buy after clicking one of them, it does support this channel and I appreciate it if you do choose to use it to no extra cost to you. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. You have an awesome one and I will catch you next time. Bye.